Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear sister. Strange things do happen in this world. The message reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? I want to tell you the things that I did and how I ended up staying with the man that I am staying. So I had this other friend of mine. We went to the same medical school together. And after we had graduated, my friend, because of her connection, because at that time her father was working at the embassy, she then ended up in South Africa, but she was on her way going to america while well, she was working at this other south african hospital that was when she met her husband and then they got married to each other so at that time when she invited me to south africa because that is where they had their wedding i then went and i then was attending her wedding and i was like one of her bridesmaids but i just felt jealous because even when we were still in medical school i saw that life had treated her very well and as for the rest of us life was just difficult and she came from a family whereby they had a lot of political connections and i just felt this anger towards her and the reason as to why i felt so much resentment and anger towards her it was because of the way that my boyfriend had treated me my boyfriend me and him we went to the same church and at our church it is not allowed to sleep together until you have gotten married so me and my boyfriend this was the promise that we had gave to each other that we were only going to sleep with each other only after he had married me and after we had our wedding then we were going to sleep with each other but you know men what they are like he started spending a lot of money on me even he would take me to his parents house and the whole church knew that i was going to be his wife one day so i would go to his house then i would do all the duties that are supposed to be done by emma Koti, and i just felt like i was going to be his wife so there was a day when his parents went out so it was only me and one of his little siblings so the sibling was just watching some cartoons he then invited me to his spare bedroom and he said you need to come and clean your husband's bedroom and then i went there and i started cleaning so while i was cleaning he then started touching me and i really wanted him but i did not want him to the point where we were going to end up sleeping together so when he was touching me he said let us just do what they call dry humping whereby i'll be wearing my underwear and he'll be wearing his boxer short but we'll be pressing our things together that is what he said so after we had removed our clothes he then came on top of me we i did not remove like my undergarment and he was wearing his boxer short when he came on top of me so we started just enjoying ourselves uh, pretending as if we were making love but it not penetrate it was not penetrating me but it felt so good that by the time that i realized the man he had already broken my virginity and i started to cry and he said that i should not cry for i was already his wife and i said it is fine but you need to keep your promise to me but with time this guy what he did to me he just hurt me because he ended up getting married to this other girl this was after we had gone on this other easter conference and whilst we were at that easter conference that was when he met this other pastor's daughter and because he just wanted to get married to a pastor's daughter he then dumped me like that and when he dumped me i realized that i had fallen pregnant for him and i then asked my best friend the one who was in south africa what was i supposed to do with this pregnancy that i was getting because she had also encouraged me to at least feel feel free to do whatever that i wanted with my boyfriend because we were going to get married to each other anyway so i hated her for the bad advice that she had given me because i just thought that the reason as to why my boyfriend ended up dumping me it was because he had seen that i had agreed to make love to him so i blamed my best friend in my heart that she is the reason as to why my boyfriend dumped me in such a way maybe he thought that i was loose so 
she then advised me to at least remove the pregnancy otherwise it was going to cause a lot of embarrassment to my family since my the pregnancy was only less than two months i then went to this illegal abortion clinic where i then got the pregnancy removed and after that that was when she told me that i was supposed to come and assist her with the wedding arrangements and preparations so i came to south africa and i saw that her husband was such a handsome gentleman i said what am i going to do with these people because these people they are really perfect you could tell that this couple was just too perfect and she was already on her way going to america and i just did not want her to succeed anymore in life she had succeeded already in life why was she supposed to succeed even more when i was just suffering i was just working at a government hospital not in get not getting paid a lot of money when i would tell her to assist me to speak with her father to use his own connection so that i can at least get a job if it was not in south africa or maybe in america but she kept on telling me that it everything was going to work out when i wanted things to work out there and then that she could press all the buttons and she could get me a work permit if she wanted because she knew a lot of people that owned a lot of private hospitals but she was unwilling to help me out even though i had graduated but she was unwilling to assist me and then so that this one was not a true friend she was just happy being someone that was always ahead of me and so after the wedding was done i then returned back to zim and she told me that she wanted me to return back to south africa if it happens that she falls pregnant and she gives birth she wanted me to be around so i returned back home and then when she gave birth when her pregnancy was nine months old that was when she called me and she said i want you to come and assist me so i then came to south africa and she had told me that i was supposed to bring some charms for her you know those those charms that we use in our country when a woman is about to go into labor she said can you try to find some charms for me uh, they, she wanted some elephant dung so that she won't feel so much labor pain that i did for her and i was really happy when she asked me because i knew that this was going to be a very dangerous time for her and i saw it as an opportunity to get her killed so i went to that place where they sell a lot of traditional stuff and herbs as well in mbare i went to mbare musika and i spoke with this other woman who was a traditional healer and i told her that i wanted some charm which is called masu and she then gave me the elephant dung but after she had given me the elephant dung i then spoke with her and i said is it possible that we can have a private conversation and she said oh yes oh yes let us find somewhere else to go so that we can have this conversation we then went to her car and whilst we were sitting in her car that was when i told her about my friend how i hated my friend and she understood me i hope that your listeners are going to understand me as that traditional healer understood me from where i was coming from because this girl she was the one who had given me bad advice in the first place and she said it is fine she gave me the go ahead to sleep with my ex-boyfriend and i hated her for that even when i had an abortion so i also wanted her to suffer then that traditional healer told me that she understood me and all that i was supposed to do i was supposed to trust her for she was going to help me to fix this woman who had done all of these things to me she said so you are going to leave this cow dung with me after i am done with it then you will come and collect it she then told me that the amount that she wanted from from me it was at least 700 us dollars and i said like what 700 us dollars just to sort out my friend it was just too much she then said the reason is to why i have told you that i need 700 us dollars for this job because i want to hand over a husband to you when she told me that she wanted to hand over my friend's new husband to me i got so excited and i knew all that i was supposed to do at church there was this other old man that had always been proposing love to me 
and I knew that if I was going to ask him for some money, he was going to give it to me in exchange for, for me sleeping with him. And I was ready to do that. I then exchanged my contacts with that healer and I returned back home. I planned my move and I spoke with that elder from our church and i lied to him that my life was in a mess i just needed some money because i was unable to pay my rentals he said he was going to assist me i should pass through his office so i went to his offices i went to his office i chose this other skirt that was too short and it was really tight even when i walked into his office the old man almost had a heart attack i then sat down and i started to beg him for some money and he said what are you going to give me in exchange and i said what do you want i am desperate at anything that you want he then said follow me so i followed him to his car we then went to this other guest house we slept at that guest house i did not even care because all that i wanted was the money he ended up giving me a thousand u.s dollars after he had given me the money i went to that traditional healer who gave me the cow dung i don't know what she did with the cow dung but she told me that i was supposed to keep it wet until the day that i'll be leaving for south africa that was when i was supposed to place it outside so that it can get dry so i then took that cow dung she then gave me some oil i don't know what type of oil that she gave me but it is like really smelly the oil that she gave me she told me that as long as i wanted to keep my friend's husband i was supposed to keep that oil with me and now and then all that i had to do was just to put a few droplets of the oil in the lotion that the guy will be using the body lotion so i then spoke with my friend she told me that i was supposed to quickly come to south africa i then came to south africa and then i gave her that cow dung that i had been given by that traditional healer as for the oil i hid it somewhere else since i was staying at her new house with her new husband and she was heavily pregnant so i was the one who was doing all of the cooking like that traditional healer had told me each so each and every day what i'll do like the traditional healer had told me to do when the husband was about to return back from work i would then be busy in the kitchen and my friend most of the times she would be watching tv then i would when i would hear her husband driving into the yard then i will just take that bottle and dip my finger into that bottle then i'll just rub the oil on my forehead the husband each and every time he would look at me and he would keep on staring at me then i'll smile at him and he will smile back at me i kept on doing this until one day when he walked into the kitchen then he grabbed me and he forced me to kiss him and i knew that he was mine the day that my friend went into labor like that traditional healer had told me to do she had told me that i was supposed to wear like a skirt or a trousers but i had to put a belt on top and the the when i'll be having like that traditional healer had told me she had said that when your friend is about to go into labor when you notice that your waters have broken you need to wear it's either a dress a skirt or a trousers that comes with a belt so i had gone to this other shop that is called trueth and i had gone and i had bought this other skirt that came with a belt and i did not wear it i only i was keeping it for the day that her waters was were going to break and when her waters had broken that was when i took that skirt and i wore it and i then tied the belt really tightly then we went to the hospital where she was supposed to give birth to it was a private hospital and that is where my friend died she died even though she was given the best medical attention at that private hospital her baby survived i am the one who is looking after her baby and her husband even up until this day dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our sister right there strange things indeed they do happen in this world yo please let us talk about this issue in the comment section